Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. In tonight's nightcap, I do some machining on a bit of 303 stainless. Uh, one of my viewers sent some tips in for us to try, and I tried them, and I really was impressed with them. My friend Bob comes up and discusses a little bit about that Stuart Turner 5 year steam engine I bought, the one that only run in one direction. Bob took it away and he stripped it and found one or two issues. And we did a little bit of film. Um, I'm going to put my, I'll leave it and let you watch it in this actual nightcap episode. I've got a nice little machine job to do here. It's an adapter for a, a rudder shaft on a steamboat. I presume you call it a rudder shaft. It's a bit with comes up over the hole. And the bit of steel that goes on the end of it is actually plastic printed. What he wants making. Well, it wants to come onto this bit of 303 stainless. 303 is ideal for marine applications because it doesn't corrode and it's not too bad a machine. Now, I've just had a friend of mine, one of you was, a lad called Vernon, sent us some tips in to try. This is an ideal, ideal opportunity to see what they're like. Uh, I've never used them before, I don't know what they're like. I like using these tips because. With the hole that I've got, you get to use all, all six corners. You've got three on that side, turn it over, and that's three on that side, so they're very economical to use. So I've, I've put one of them in my favourite tool holder. We'll get this motor in the chuck and give it a, a go, see what we can do. More than enough there to get what we need. It can be slightly longer, it doesn't matter. We've got quite a decent hole of it in the chuck. There's actually a 916 foot worth thread. Got to go up the, the centre of it. We'll face the end first, I'll put the centre in just to support it and we'll machine the, the diameter down, that's that diameter there. size there, I want a 1mm cut off there, so I'm going to speed the nail up a little bit and slow the feed rate down just to see what sort of finish I can get with these tips. Let's blob on, 30mm.
Yep, we will help you a lot. Right now we're in 916 C1C thread into the end of there for a depth of 2 inches or 50 mil. Centre drill it and find out what size tap drill we need. Machine top here, I don't know where it come from. I'm pleased I've got one. Go through this power top straight into there. Hopefully. Tighter grip on it and uh, call it shock, I think. Straight out. Right, we'll finish it off. 
Put the base by hand. Oh. Seal it seals out. Nasty stuff to put threads in. Put a nice thread main. Full depth. This is steam oil. It works very well. It's a tapping floor as well. Bastard. I want to drill this and tap it for a grub screw as well. It always amazes me where the, the swarf comes out like that. <laughs> 